Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Have you ever wondered what games you should sell or you should use? Find out here at Purdue's. Find out on our top 10 list what games you cannot miss. Don't forget to subscribe to Purdue's. Tim is another game in the Haba series. This one is going to concentrate on colors, shapes, and numbers. Uh, it, it it can be a little difficult. Uh, roll the die and move is easy. You're all moving the same piece. So um, that's new, but oh, it can be overcame. Uh, the hard part is going to be you're going to get a picture that's both black and white on the flip side. It's color. And the kids are going to need colors. They're going to look at that picture and say, okay, the sun is yellow. The grass is green. Um, but then there's more subtle things like what color is a swan? What color is that rock? Because they're going to get to see it beforehand and then flip it. Uh, very neat little game. It, it, it can play either the number side or the color side. Uh, you don't do both at the same time, but both there's two games in the box, but they're exactly the same except for one works on shapes and one works on numbers. That's the only difference. So while most Hollow games have more than one game in the box, I hesitate to say that because it's just numbers and shapes. Everything else is exactly the same. My kids tend to like this one. Uh, it's one that once they know their numbers and colors, they're probably going to grow out of. So I'd probably get this at a younger age, teach them the colors, and then we're ready to flip to the numbers and then start on the numbers. That's how I would do it, and that's how I'd recommend it to people. for Kim and Tim, also known as Die Farben und Zale Hinhorchen, or something like that, as I like to say. Very colorful, Kim and Tim. Uh, maybe it's their version of Chip and Dale, but it reminded me of a game that could have been rethemed. Living here in Orlando, we're pretty big Disney fans. Uh, multiple languages, again, with Haba, as you always get. Um, you will need an adult to read that. You are going to get a few of these that come out. They're all exactly the same. Just have some numbers and different shapes on them. You're going to have some advertisement, which I always appreciate from Haba because it is difficult for me anyway to find out what games they come out. Here is the board. Very cute artwork and the birds and the animals and the colors that will be running around. You're going to get Kim and Tim. Player marker, it's on there. I didn't have to sticker it. Yay! But only one side. You're gonna get a big wooden six die, six sided die. This is very good for kids. They like the bigness, the large sign of it. These are kind of cheapy parts of the game, just a bunch of little cheap hexagons. They're okay. They're thicker than what you're usually gonna get in mass market. And you're gonna get four little doohickeys here, which I think are acorns. Kind of neat. Small. You could lose these easily. Be careful. Especially if you let the kids run around with the games. Uh, you're going to get a. Every side of this is going to have the same thing black and white. And these are cute, artsy work type things uh, that you'll be using during the game. Very attractive for children. They really like this. Kids always love animals and stuff. Some non junk food. You got good food. Some kids on the beach. Um, the artwork is very cute. The sandbox. The kids playing outside. Whoop. Let's go back around. So the artwork's very cutesy. It's going to drag people into this. Once again, the box is, you know, Haba, it's probably bigger than it needs to be. If you're lacking oxygen, if you're on the moon or something, this would be great to take. Plenty of oxygen in the box. Uh, that's components. As normal with Haba, the components are great. You know, these things are a little chintzy, but they're fine. Otherwise, um, this is a step up. This is, um, component-wise, a huge step up from mass market. really simple in this game. I think mass market parents, you know, may struggle with it just a tad because you're only moving one person and there's a couple layers to it, but it's still a children's game. So I don't think anybody's going to really concentrate or uh, lose concentration or sleep on this one. 
uh, after you teach the kids how to play, they can pretty much figure it out and play on their own. My daughter likes to make up her own rules or tweak games a little bit. Uh, I don't discourage that, although I do tell her when we're playing with other people, these are rules, we need to stick to the rules. Um, but I think this is one that they can definitely play on their own after a few plays. Uh, the rules are fairly simple. The first game is just about learning your colors. So these are double-sided. So what you're going to get on this side is the colors that you're trying to collect. And you'll need the color side of the tiles. The other side have numbers for the numbers game. And what you'll do is you'll show all the kids these. They can kind of get an idea of what the colors are, blah, blah, blah. And then you turn them over to the black and white side. And the game is very easy. It's a roll and move. You're going to roll the die, and you're going to move the number of spots, Kim and Tim. You can move any direction you want. One, two, three. But if you land on a color, you take the color from the tiles, and you place it on here. If you land on a nut, you get one of the nuts. And if you collect two, you can trade these in for any color that you want. The other one you can do is this tile, and you grab a tile. And what you would do is you see the black and white side. You'd look and say, oh, well, what color do I need? I don't have green. So maybe I go, you know what? Trees are green. Let's see. Yep, trees are green. So then I would get a green token. But I would need a green oval. Okay. And then you put this on the bottom of the pile, and the next person would go. If you got another one, you might say, oh, ducks. Ducks are yellow, right? Yeah, I need yellow. I don't have yellow yet. Yeah, let's see. Yep, the ducks are yellow. Now, for an adult, that's obviously very easy. But for a child, it's you know, a little bit harder. So it's just about identifying colors with a roll and move scenario. Um, the kids are moving the same guy around. Uh, which is unique for them. They're not used to doing that, usually at this age. And then the colors that you're trying to collect. So it's a color recognition, making sure you get the right ones. Uh, this is the most complicated part for children, is remembering what color things should be. Uh, but it, it's a good step. So this is going to be for younger children. The box is three to six, but I don't know if a six-year-old is going to like this. Uh, maybe. Uh, they, they'll probably be very, very good at it. Um, so the second the game, game is the same game as the first one, just with numbers. So you roll the die, you move the person, and you look at what number is that shape. Oh, it's five, I need a five. And then you would grab the five. So you're recognizing shapes and numbers here. Uh, same thing with the acorn. You can collect acorns, you get two. You can trade in for any one you want. And the difference with this is, is now you can use either side. And you're no longer looking for colors, you're looking for things that are same, like Say you needed number three, there's one, two, three pails. So your your child would identify there's three pails and they needed number three and they would go here and get the three and do that. Let's do let's do another one. Here. I need the number two. What could be a number two? Well you get two deer. You got one, two, three, four stars. That's not gonna do it. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six mushrooms. How many trees? Blah blah blah. Okay, then you the two deer. Hopefully the child will be able to see that, that there's two deer there and then we get to number two. So same game except for what you're looking for here is numbers instead of colors and the shapes will play into it also. That's Kim and Tim. You should buy this game. Parents looking to uh, teach their kids shapes, colors, and numbers. This is one of those games that has a little bit of fun in the box, but also they threw in some educational things on you to trick you. I think that's going to be appealing for people. So uh, this is one of those hobby games that, inter that introduces learning and, uh, and fun. So while it has all the cute characters and the colors and the game inside, it's also going to teach. So nurseries, kindergarten might like this, teachers, you got parents who homeschool or just parents who are getting their kids ready for school will we'll definitely like this one. Your kids will grow out of it. That's no doubt about it. But for now, it's a keeper until my kids do. Kim and Tim. And this might be even when I, I, I keep on my shelf and keep around for my grandchildren one day, you know, 20 years from now or whatever. Uh, it has that kind of appeal.